sharing your Friday afternoon here with us on Cabo Bay in LA. Today is September 7th. Tomorrow is September 8th. On Sunday, September 9th, what's happening this weekend? FPAC, Festival of Philippine Arts and Culture. We're going to be talking about that today on the show as well. But September 8th also is something that's very special to a lot of Catholics worldwide. This is the birthday of our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary. And of course, in the last few months, we've been talking also about the devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe. There's many different devotions. And today, we are going to talk about the devotion to the Virgen de los Remedios, or the Lady or the Virgin of Remedies which happens to be the patroness of Pampanga. And we have two Kapampangas joining us today on the show, representing this, shall I say, group or movement or what is this? What's A devotion. Devotion yes. to Our Lady of Remedies. Vidal and Dan, Dan. hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in L.A. Why Thank is it you. important to uh, Kapampangas to really honor Virgen de los Remedios? Well, it all started in 1952, and uh, everybody knows that uh, Pampanga was undergoing some kind of a social unrest, if you're familiar with the Hook Movement, mm -hmm. which is a social unrest uh, for the um, uh, for the Kapampangan. So the bishop then, Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero, who happens to be from Malate, and if you will know that Malate, uh, Malate's patroness is uh, the Nuestra Señora de los Remedios. Mm. She is the oldest Marian uh, image in the Philippines who was brought from Mexico to Manila to the galleon trades. And then Bishop Guerrero dedicated the crusade uh, in Pampanga under the patroness of uh, Virgen de los Remedios. Since then, uh, Kapampangans have been praying to her for their faith, for peace, uh, for unity, and for love among Kapampangans. And if you will note recently, uh, Kapampangan, uh, Pampanga, uh, was devastated with the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. Pinatubo. And uh, Kapampangans prayed a lot to their beloved Ima. And uh, if you will note, in just a few years, uh, Pampanga has, uh, bounced, back, has no? bounced back. Yes, yes, yes. And every year you celebrate this. This is the sixth year in Los Angeles that it's going to happen. Yes, yes. And you're celebrating it on Sunday, September Sunday, 9th, yes. right? What's going to happen at the celebration? So. First of all, there will be a uh, coronation in this uh, 56th uh, anniversary. Coronation, it's like a reenactment. Mm -hmm. Coronation of Biren the Los Remedios. Okay. So, hindi siya beauty pageant, okay? <laughs> like, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, sinabing coronation, people think, you know, beauty pageant, okay. Yeah. So, it's a reenactment, re okay, and then? Yeah. Uh, this year, the host town are Apalitenos of Southern California and Mexico, Pampanga, Philippines. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, later on, uh, I will take the opportunity to invite our Kababayans uh, in L.A., of course, to please uh, join us in this uh, anniversary. Okay. And, you know, uh, we were talking about this. I said six, this is the sixth year only six here in Los Angeles, but in Pampanga, actually, in the Philippines. How long? How many uh, years have been It has been, been going on for 60 years. 60 years. At this particular point in time, uh, Today is Saturday now in Pampanga. In a few hours, uh, hundreds of thousands of Kapampangans will gather at the capital uh, town, San Fernando, and they will reenact the coronation of the uh, of Nesta Señora de los Remedios. So exciting. And for your information, the movement started in 1952, four years later because of Kapampangan's uh, piety. Uh, they're saying... So Mag you're attributing it to, to the Kapampangan's piety? Yeah. Uh, okay. Four years after Kapampangan's piety, Pope Pius XII uh, uh -huh. decreed that the image will be canonically crowned. That was in 1956. Uh -huh. And since then, we have been reenacting the, uh, the uh, uh, coronation uh, yes. and, and celebration. So this year is our sixth year at the Cathedral of Our Lady of uh, Angels. And uh, we are inviting everyone. You see, the devotion is not only limited to Kapampangan. If you will know the history of the devotion to the Virgen de los Remedios, it all began in France, traveled to Spain, to the Latin American countries, to Mexico, you know, then I to keep, Manila. I keep hearing about that devotions to 
our blessed Mary uh, very, very strong, very, very strong. Yeah. A lot of people with intentions, uh, you know, and, and they pray, it, uh, they ask the help of Blessed Virgin Mary mm -hmm. through the rosary, through different Marian devotions. They really get, you know, their wishes, their prayers granted. So I, I believe that, you know, a devotion to Virgen de los Remedios will also help us not only, you know, in outside things, in the accumulation of health, wealth or good health or anything mm -hmm. like that, but also internally for peace, no, in, in ourselves. You wanted to read something, Dan? Yes. Yes, go ahead. At this point in time, allow me to read some of the few verses mm -hmm. of, uh, that pertains to Viren de los Remedios. And uh, it will be in Kapampangan, uh, uh, in our own Kapampangan words. Nuna na Viren de los Remedios, tingin duning kapaldanan, liguran niya't may kilalang patron ng mal patulunan, Endure ang maluka kaya katamu mamilatan baning tibuan ng probinsya laganap ing kataymikan para ngalan ya ing biren tingaldo ng kebaitan uli yang pilulanan ning kaban ning bayong tipan nung kareng sablang babae nuan yapi ni beren maria lalo yang nuan ing bunga milulan Thank you so much. Very quickly, because we're out of time, what does that mean? Very quickly. It's a praise in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, written in a Kapampangan poetry okay. uh, style. And that really sounded like poetry. Good okay. delivery as well. Thank you Very so good. much. Good luck Thank to you, you. on your event we'll Sunday. See you all on Sunday. Yes, information on the screen. That's a phone number if you want to get more details. When we return on the show, let's meet a Kabobayan author. Don't go away.